to the west of St. Petersburg, Florida is a barrier island better known as St. Pete Beach. There's really a lot to love about this place. Soft white sand, emerald green waters, and a laid back vibe. It's no wonder St. Pete Beach is consistently ranked as one of the best beaches in America. But we have a confession to make. We moved to St. Petersburg over two months ago and we have not yet made it to the beach. So we're gonna spend the day seeing what makes St. Pete Beach such a highly popular tourist destination. And what better place to start than on the beach itself? The see the daylight. Petersburg is an incredibly popular tourist destination, but it's important to know that there are many different areas that you can visit. For the purposes of this video, we are going to be focusing on St. Pete Beach. St. Pete Beach is just about 10 minutes away from downtown St. Petersburg and just south of Clearwater. The easiest place to park will be at the parking lot that is right next to St. Pete Beach. This is metered parking at just over $3 an hour. Also with the parking, it's a little bit easier to just use the app because if you need to re-up, you can just do that anytime while you're on the beach. to rent these little cabanas on the beach. They come with two chairs and an umbrella. I think I saw a sign that they were $30, but we'll have Tony fact check that on the screen. They're all living for the weekend. We're up all night and then we're sleeping. Well, I guess there's that. I guess we got that. <laughs> this is some nice sand. Nice sand. Feels expensive. As a reminder, we are on the Gulf side of Florida. So right behind us is the Gulf of Mexico. I Googled the water temperature today. It is October 29th and the water is 75 degrees. I saw people go out pretty far and it looked pretty shallow and the water is very calm today. So definitely a good place to swim. Underneath the sun and stars and sand. Give it all back just to get to hold her hand again. If you want to grab breakfast either before or after the beach, Coconut Charlie's is a great spot. You can get $5 mimosas and a decent breakfast. Here I got the honey jalapeno chicken and waffles, and Sarah got the crispy pork eggs benedict. Total, our meal came out to $48 before tip. Jimmy B's is also right next door. The parking situation is a bit weird. We still haven't quite figured it out, but it's probably easier to come from the beach so you don't have to walk through the hotel. But they have live music and a lot of space to sit and relax with a drink. It's a bit pricey, so we stuck to drinks and appetizers. We got the coconut shrimp and grilled chicken skewers to go along with a couple of blue Hawaiians and pina coladas. I've been sleeping on coconut shrimp. Our total before tip came out to $81. Oh, and I got shat on by a seagull, but I won't bore you with that story. There's also no alcohol allowed on this stretch of the beach accessible to the public. There's a few beaches nearby where you can have alcohol, and if you're a guest at one of the hotels, you can bring your drinks down to their section of the beach. We should also mention another means of getting around is taking the Sunrunner which is kind of a new addition to the area, but it's really cool because it has its own lane, so you can get to the beach pretty quickly without the hassle of parking. If beach 
bar hopping is on your vacation list, St. Pete Beach is one of the best places to do it. The Don Cesar is a historic landmark in the area. There are also a few restaurants and bars within the hotel, but I think we'll check those out in another video. St. Pete Beach feels like it's out of a postcard, and there's plenty of water activities to do, whether you want to run a boat, some jet skis, or even go out parasailing. But what we love about this place is not only how close it is to where we live, but how laid back it is for such a popular beach. I feel like this could make a cool, like, Marvel thing. Does it shrink? <laughs> yeah. Clearly, I've never seen Marvel. Dog fight. <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> 